what is up fam so today we got that dream tackle box video that i was telling you guys about and it is going to be epic um, i've got literally everything stacked in here well i'm in the process of stacking everything i can in here for fresh water like literally every situation i can think of so i'd really like your guys's help if you think of anything else that i might need in this tackle box comment below let me know and i'll get back to you and i'll i'll load it up in here this is a process um, I've been building this for a very long time and I'm just super excited to show this with you guys. So stick around and we'll go over it all. All right guys, so first off, we've got the first bait binder. Um, this is loaded with all kinds of like plastic worms, um, ribbon tails. I think we got some drop shot stuff in there. Um, plenty of other things, so stick around and I'll go over all the stuff in there. Same thing with this bait binder. This bait binder is awesome. It's got a lot of my spinner baits, a lot of my chatter baits. Um, and a few other terminal tackles, terminal tackle. Um, so I will share that with you as well in a moment. And then also, this is my absolute favorite binder uh, for many reasons, but mainly because of this company right here. This company is absolutely incredible. Absolutely love Z-Man. If you know me, you know that. So shout out to them. And I will show you guys every single bait that I have in here from them. So stick around. Also got my favorite, my favorite, tackle box utility boxes um, they're just absolutely incredible they're the Plano edge boxes they're very expensive they're really bougie I'm not gonna lie but for my dream tackle box video I wanted nothing but the best so I got three of these so I'll be going over what all of these are for in a moment stick around and this one actually still has the plastic uh, wrap on it so if you guys want to see me rip that off I'm gonna be doing that um, and showing you everything I've got as far as my terminal tackle. So again, if you miss, if I miss anything, just let me know. Comment below. Um, I still have some labeling and stuff to do. So, I, like I said, this is a work in process. Um, but stick around, and I'm gonna show you guys everything I've got in here. This side pocket, like these side pockets, I can't even begin to explain how awesome this tackle box is for this reason. Um, so I love that I can fit all of these things in here. But I have way more tackle than what I can fit in like the primary spot of like right here um, so these side pockets were huge adding to my purchase um, and making me actually make the plunge on this tackle box as opposed to any of the other brands um, and it's got both sides got have these huge pockets like literally fit so much tackle in this thing um, here I have a lot of my stuff that I basically um, it's just more stuff for like organizing tackle I guess you'd call it so I've got like these are extra bait binder um, sleeves for these and then I've also got some extra rig wraps so I can wrap these around my you know treble hook lures and not have them snag onto everything in my car um, I've got these to divide these boxes um, so if I ever need to kind of reorganize I can I've got plenty of these two of these in this front pocket if I really wanted to so like I said I mean, that would be a lot more tackle than I already have, so I'm not making that plunge yet, but I'm definitely keeping that in mind uh, moving forward. So drop below if I miss anything, because I'll load it up there. And then this next little spot right here, I just keep all of my like tools, I guess you call it. It's like this is a nice Leatherman, Leatherman tool. Um, shout out to Drew Brands, he bought this for me. When I was like in fourth grade or something. <laughs> and these things are awesome. They work very, very well. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've used it. And that is an awesome tool to have in your tackle box. And then it looks like I've also got a, a wrench and a screwdriver. Not sure why, um, but you never know when you're gonna need a wrench and a screwdriver, I guess. And then we've also got this um, light, which is absolutely awesome. I got this at Bass Pro Shops. Um, and they have an awesome little mechanism on here. So like, for my, um, for my case, this has a magnet here, so I can just clip this right onto my car and then just turn on this light and see my tackle right below me, which is really convenient if I need to make a new tie or something when I'm night fishing. Um, so I definitely like to have a light on me um, at all times. And then next, we've got, I guess I might as well go over this. Um, this stuff is pretty cool. I recommend you do have it in your tackle box. Oh my gosh, can't even get it out of here though. I don't use it that often, oops, I use it like twice a year, um, but basically it's real magic and this stuff is really good for fluorocarbon monofilament and braid. Um, you just spray it on your reel and it actually kind of, 
I mean, it says that it casts farther, um, it reduces line memory, UV protection, and a lot of other things. They're all kind of listed right here. Um, but yeah, this can is pretty cool to have in your tackle box. I kind of recommend you do have it if you do fish those things like fluorocarbon monofilament that have that memory. Um, I think this stuff definitely helps with kind of reducing the line memory and just softening the line in general. All right, guys, so this is kind of an exciting thing to do, in my opinion. Um, so we've got like this plastic cover on here. And I mean, it comes on like all LED screens and stuff like that. But I don't know, I think one of the most satisfying things is just kind of like tearing it off. So I figured I might as well save it for this tackle box video. And here it is. So crisp and so clean, and now you can see my toenail under there. <laughs> All right, but yeah, this is that terminal tackle box that I was telling you guys. It's really new, and I just loaded it up and got it organized and stuff. So I'm going to be going over everything in here vaguely, so stick around. All right, folks, so next thing we're talking about is this little carabiner I got here. And I really love these boomerangs, as you guys know. These boomerang tools are awesome. I take this thing off of here all the time, clip it on my belt buckle, and I basically just use it every day. Um, at work, I use it. Like, they're just incredible. Um, you cut anything with them, braid, mono, floral, smooth like butter, every time. Then not only that, I've also got my Rapala scissors. Um, I just have had these for a really long time, and they're decent. They work very well. Um, before I bought these boomerang clippers, I used these solely, but now I just have them around just because you can never have too many line cutters. So next, we're going to be talking about this side pocket that I was telling you guys about. It's just massive. Like literally the main reason why I bought this thing was because of these side pockets. So this is just a Velcro, um, which I don't mind at all. I actually think it's really nice just because you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I don't got to squeeze in on the zipper, but... These are um, some really big six inch wacky worms. And I'm just gonna kinda like really quickly go over the stuff that's in here just cause if I don't do it quickly, we'll be here all day cause there's so much stuff in here and I'm not even sure what is all in here. So stick around guys. Um, these are literally like, I, I can't even describe how amazing these trailers are. Um, I'm actually gonna just pull one out real quick for you just because they're that good. Um, these are just the split tail Z-Man grubs um, these things, I just toss them right on the back of a chatterbait just because they've got like a really nice sleek profile um, or a spinnerbait or something. And I just think it dresses up the hook really nice and truly they just dance really, really nice behind the chatterbait and it doesn't affect like the run of the chatterbait whatsoever. Um, I know like a lot of bulkier swim baits when you kind of hook them a little bit off centered, they, they actually make the chatterbait swim cockeyed or just kind of swim goofy. And I can't stand that. So. These Z-Man little finesse uh, twin tails, like, I'm not even kidding. Super, super fire, super worth it. They catch tons of fish before I even lose one. I have yet to lose one. Um, and yeah, I've got them in green pumpkin. Oops. Got them in this green pumpkin color. Got them in this white color. And then I also have another one somewhere. I don't know. I'm hoping I didn't leave it on my kayak. But I've got a chartreuse one. Um, not sure where it went. But yeah, those three colors, that's pretty much all I roll with. Um, because that's typically all I really need, those three. Um, but yeah, on to the next stuff. So, got these big bite baits. I actually got this in a Mondo kit. This thing is awesome. Like, these little grubs here are absolutely awesome. I don't know the name of them. They didn't put the name on the, or on the plastic bag, but, um, yeah, they're really good anyway. This is just a bunch of like paddle tail swim baits that I tossed in this yum bag and for whatever reason the yum zipper doesn't work anymore so I've got them in this ziplock. These are just some yum or I'm sorry zoom flukes uh, watermelon red and they're the pretty big ones but yeah I really like these the super flukes. Got some helgamites really love these for fish in the river. There's some green pumpkin ones and then I've got some kytex sexy shad color four inch these things are awesome. Um, really nice trailers and just good swim baits in general. These are my chompers, 5 inch. Absolutely love the big bulky, bulky presentation. You just toss these on a nice football jig. And it's got the skirt for you. And then it's already got the twin tail. So it's literally like the perfect jig setup all in one. And you just rig it on a jig. Awesome, awesome bait. 
These are kind of the same deal, just like a crawfish um, made by Cabela's back in the day. We don't sell these anymore, but I bought the pack when we did have them, and they're great. These are some more Zoom. Um, these are the split tails that I got before I bought the Z-Man ones. These are great too if you don't have Z-Man, but for the same price, get the Z-Man. These are just basic bass. Um, they call them teasers or tozers. I don't know what the heck. It says teaser, but these are just like a normal tube, um, 2.75 inch. So these are really good for the river and just some weedless bass fishing if I need to do that. And these mosquitoes are driving us nuts out oh, here, guys. Big ant, dude. Oh my. This is what, like a queen ant? Dude. Alrighty guys, and then next we got these Zoom um, Super Finesse Worms. These things are awesome as well. Have yet to fish them. I just got these for clear water. And uh, when I was going to go with the guy, he told me to get this color, but we ended up not going that day. So I don't know, someday I'll use them, I know that. And these are some more tender tubes. Um, these are just, you know, regular plain Jane tubes. Uh, this is green pumpkin melon pepper. So it's kind of a unique color. Um, I really like that color. And uh, yeah, on to the next stuff. This is Kitech um, Swing Impact. So these are really good. I love these for drop shotting. Um, that's pretty much what I have them for. Sometimes I'll toss them on as a trailer, but typically a drop shot. These are like some super old um, crayfish trailers that I got like really back in the day at like Walmart, I think. Um, probably like two bucks or something on sale. And then these are some extra trailers that I have. They're just some Swimming Super Fluke Juniors, white ice. So I just toss those on a spinnerbait or a chatterbait or rig them Texas rig. Oh gosh, we still got more stuff in here. It's crazy. This is another one of those um, claw bugs. They're just basically like a creature bait, um, crawfish. Cabela's doesn't make them anymore, as I was telling you earlier. I got them on sale for buck seventy-eight. It looks like so. That's like a lot of this product that I'm showing you guys. I mean, most of this, like I'm a bargain shopper. Um, any deal I see, I'll snatch it up, especially fishing equipment, because I know I'll use it. So I consider it an investment. Gary Yamamoto. Um, I got some of these for if I fish competitively or something like that. These things are really, really nice. Six inch green pumpkin with red flake. Awesome, awesome bait. Looks like I got some other stuff in there too. Probably was pond hopping. Put a blend in, the, in that pack. But yeah, these are some ribbit frogs. Absolutely love these things. Great company. Um, if you like fishing plastic frogs, definitely give them a try. Uh, these things are really nice. Looks like we got another Gary Yamamoto pack. Um, some five inch watermelon and cream. I like that color. It looks like a baby bass or something. White belly with a green, green top like that. And then it looks like I've got literally one trailer of these Havocs, um, these 3.5s, which I remember using these. I love these Berkeley Havocs. These things work pretty well. Um, but I'm honestly really going with Z-Man nowadays. So that's everything in this pocket. And literally guys, check it out. It really fits all of this stuff. Like, I mean, that's pretty incredible. Or if I wanted to, I could even put the Z-Man thing in here. Like, I mean, there's so many different ways that I can kind of go about organizing this tackle box. And I think that's pretty much why I went with this one over any other one on the market at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get everything back in here and go along with the other side. So this is that other side pocket I was telling you guys about. Um, the first one that you guys saw did have that Velcro, um, but this one's got the zipper, which I absolutely love as well. Um, I kind of like having both the zipper and the flap. Personally, it's just one of those things that I just really loved about it. Um, but basically, I just have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, I've got my Costa case for my sunglasses, which I absolutely love. Um, shout out to Costa, huge shout out to them. They honestly make the best sunglasses, and I'm just gonna toss them in there now just to get them off my neck um, so I'll keep I always keep those with me absolutely got to keep the polarized sunglasses in your tackle box at all times um, and then I've also got some extra line so we got some 10 pound mono and then two two spools of 14 pound four, 14 pound fluorocarbon sorry I can't talk but um, yeah so these things are awesome I don't I don't know I need to get a like a line box that just, or like even like a real case maybe, that would be kind of cool to have in the future to put like all my line in and stuff like that just to kind of organize that. Cause I'd like to have more, like I'd like to have my eight pound, my 10 pound, 12 pound, 14. 
honestly all the way up to 20 pound fluorocarbon like on deck for liters and stuff like that um, but I need to kind of just figure out a good way of organizing that so you guys will probably see that in the next video um, that I release on this tackle box so but these next two lures I'm like super pumped to even show you guys um, I literally have looked at them once um, as soon as I got them shipped in that's when I looked at them and that's it just because I'm like so stinking pumped to fish these but I have yet to purchase a like a setup to toss something like these um, and these things are just absolutely beautiful but yeah this is the other one so I bought two of these um, these are the bluegill big bait gantra gantry gantry I don't know how you even pronounce it to be honest um, but it's made by Jack all um, it's like a JP swim bait so I think these are from uh, I don't know made in Japan yeah so they are made in Japan these are like really 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 nice lures um, they're not like your you know exotic I guess you'd call it swim baits they're just your like these are I think like 40 bucks um, so they're expensive huge investment but when you're throwing like a huge swim bait setup which I have yet to purchase but when I do um, you know you don't plan on losing very many of these you plan on you know fishing them with heavy line heavy rod um, the perfect setup that is made for tossing I think these are two and a quarter yeah 2.4 or 5 so about two and a half ounces um, so they're really you know they're really heavy baits you can't just toss them with like a standard seven foot medium heavy you know and a normal size bait caster um, but that's kind of my next um, next forefront to purchase um, I'm not in like a huge rush for it but I'd like to be able to toss these in the fall um, so I'm really really hoping that I do come around to getting a getting a rod um, for specifically these big swim baits and I just know it's gonna bring a ton of attention to the channel just because I know it's like a really cool thing to watch and where I live I feel like these bass would absolutely crush these realistic looking bluegills um, way more than anything else like these chatter baits anything else that I'm about to show you so stick around guys I'm gonna go over everything else that's pretty much right over here um, basically went over my whole tackle box like real quickly but I'm just gonna really quickly um, go over just slightly everything that I've got in these bait binders and these Plano tackle boxes so stay tuned guys um, we got a little bit more of this video and I hope you guys are enjoying all right guys so I'm gonna basically start from this top left corner and then work all the way down to this bottom right corner just quickly explain what we've got going on in here um, so this is as you guys can see my terminal tackle box um, and this is just kind of my smaller Texas rig hooks these are even smaller ones and these are the bigger ones like I think those are three four aughts and then these are my five aught real big guys um, and then in this little slot we've got all my Ned Rig stuff um, so we've got some bullet TRDs some regular Ned Rig hooks all different sizes and whatnot and this one we've got one really nice football jig head save that for my chompers and then these other ones are for like swim baits tube jigs um, things of that nature and then we'll swing over here these are some flipping hooks and then along with these flip or i'm sorry not flipping hooks flipping weights um, these are i think one ounce um, bass pro tungsten these are some beads that i use i usually pair them up with um, these texas rig bullet weights um, so i've got these smaller 16th ounce and then these are like i think quarter or eighth ounce um, these are those are probably quarter these are eighth these are tungsten ones these are really really nice bass pro just got these um, i really really like them i got the i believe quarter ounce three eighths and half ounce um, used them yesterday they really are i mean i can definitely tell the difference between the regular lead and the tungsten i guess so that's huge um, and then i've also got some swivel snaps barrel swivels these are really important in some cases um, i'll go over why those are important in another video over here got a bunch of drop shot weight guy drop shot weights um, I've been fishing Chicago a lot more so I really wanted to load up on these guys um, and these are all Bass Pro just different size um, got some these pyramid styles are decent but these snag proof ones are the best but because of everything going on right now kind of hard to find those um, these are just like Nico weights you can put that into a wacky worm to kind of weigh it down a little bit um, got some bullet sinkers and then we've also got wacky worm hooks right here i only got three of them so i kind of need to re-up on those but 
Those are awesome, definitely crucial in my tackle box. And then I've got some octopus hooks and drop shot hooks right over here. Um, got tons of them in there, so that's awesome. Um, could really probably organize the sizes a little bit better, but when I'm thumbing through them, I can find out what size I need. Um, oh, I'm, start, I'm ending on that. So over here, we've got some river jigs. Um, I call these river jigs just because they're cheaper, easier to lose than like these nice uh, Z-Man ones right there. But these are basically just like knockoff Bass Pro versions of a Ned Rig jig head, like a mushroom style jig head. Um, and this is just perfect for those Helga mites that you guys saw earlier, um, 16th ounce. And then these are really nice, just swim bait jig heads. And I've got a few underspins under there. And then these are just some, like these are just uh, bobber stoppers. So they're really nice for pegging weights and things of that nature. And then also I've got some crappie jigs, bat, uh, bluegill jigs just in here. I don't know why, just to have them. And then I've also got some circle hooks just in case if I ever need them. I don't know why. Um, and then also just these weighted Texas rig hooks. They're decent. Um, I've had those for a really long time. Just put them in here to, to have them in here. Um, but yeah, guys, if you see anything missing in this, please comment below. Let me know what you guys think needs to be added, um, what I could do a little bit better. Um, you can write with like a marker on this stuff and like kind of label the things. So that would be kind of cool in the future um, to do maybe. And yeah, just let me know if there's anything that I missed. Comment below. All right, guys, so as I said earlier, still working on this tackle box, so let me know if there's anything I'm missing, but I kind of have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in this box, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time, start from top left and down the bottom right, so stick around. So right here, we got some top water walk the dog baits, got my smaller ones, got my bigger ones, um, and this is just a really big whopper plopper that I have. Um, these are some cool lunker hunt baits that I eventually want to make a video on catching some topwater fish with a dragonfly and a Tarantula looking bait there and then we've got some really really nice mega bass vision 110s over here still have yet to see some water um, But man, they're beautiful. I love having them in this tackle box. It's just something about mega bass. I absolutely love um, These are awesome brand. Um, I forget the company actually um, that makes these but I got this in a Mondo kit as well. It's a nice square bill um, And this is a baby bull shad. I've got a couple of other ones of these different colors um, But I lost one actually <laughs> that reminds me I lost my shad colored one But I do have another white one. It's just tied up in the car um, And then these this rip stop is absolutely awesome. Love this thing in the in the winter time and the you know late fall this is a great bait for, you know, salt, smaller smallmouth and stuff. Just a nice little Rapala. These are really, really nice. I love these wake baits. I've got two of them. Uh, I'm going to end on the other one, but this is like the bluegill patterned one. And then this is a nice Baby B1 Minus style bait. I absolutely love these. My dad slays on these lures. If you find a bait, it's got this bill and named Baby B1 Minus, shop them. They're great. They're huge fish catching lures, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's a custom one. But yeah, that thing is awesome. Got this, this is a KVD square bill, 1.5 in that sunfish, I believe, pattern. Um, just an excellent, excellent fish catching color. Love that thing a lot. And then moving on to, these are like my new favorite blade baits. So like typically last year, if you check my tackle box, I would have a bunch of red eye shad. Um, but I'm currently restoring all my old red eye shad because they were really, really rusted out. And I just need to change like the O-rings and the hooks on them. But these are the new um, Rapala RVBs or something they're called. Um, they're RVB06, but they, I've got these three colors. They've got more. I just think these things are absolutely beautiful. Um, you can rig them like a blade bait, you know, vertically jig it with the first eyelet there. Oops. Or you can go to the second one, which this one's attached to. And it'll run just like a red-eye shad or any kind of lipless crankbait. Excellent, excellent, excellent action on those. I'm serious. I mean, they're worth the $8.99. I'm not kidding. Um, and then the last two baits I've got in here. This is just a MEPS number five um, for any northern or something like that that I go for in the river. And then I've got this. This is the last um, surface crank that I was talking about in that yellow and that um, brown back. That's a really nice color, too, for the river. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got in here. Um, comment below if I missed anything or if I need a specific lure brand or specific bait in here. Um, but yeah, on to the next thing.
This is the last Plano box we've got. And as you guys can see, it's full of my Mega Bass swim jigs that I absolutely, absolutely love. They're basically swim baits. I just jig them in, so I just keep them in my jig box. And I really, really love them, so I keep them separately and treat them very, very nicely. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Anyway, I absolutely love these Mega Bass lures. Um, so I've got three of them in quarter ounce. I've got one that's in a half ounce. Then I've got a few others. Um, just back at home in case if I lose these, just duplicate colors just because I seriously, seriously love them. Um, but on to the next stuff. So this is these are just basic enticer Bass Pro jigs, um, black and yellow. Got these for the same reason as I got a few of my other baits that I was sharing with you guys. I know a buddy told me that that's what they were biting on. Turned out we didn't even go the next day. But I bought the two black and yellow jigs and I have them for next time I go and need a black and yellow jig. So I'm not real, I'm not complaining about it. And I've also got these, uh, I've got a few of these, these Guggen, Het, or Guggen Squad um, jigs. These things are pretty awesome. I, I don't, I think these are just structure jigs. I think that's what they call them. Um, they've got really nice jig heads to them. You can skip them kind of, but um, I'd say they're more like a football head. Good for fishing, heavy cover and stuff. Um, same thing here, just a regular football jig head. I believe that one's Strike King though. Um, but yeah, that one's decent. Over here, another Guggen Squad, just a regular green pumpkin. Um, to me, you can't beat a green pumpkin color. And then this, actually, this skirt just like corroded off of here. So I still have this jig head because I know I can toss like a chomper on it or something. So I'm saving this for that reason. And then I've also got some marabou jig heads that I think really look like leeches when they go in the current in a river. So I got those. This is like a really nice swim jig uh, made by Strike King for heavy cover. Honestly, I've caught a lot of fish on this, including a really big, big fish. If you follow my Instagram, you know. Um, but yeah, and then the last bait I was telling you guys about is just this half ounce Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. I don't remember the color of this. Um, if you know it, comment below. If I miss anything, if I need a couple, of, like, I could probably get some black and blue jigs. I could definitely load this jig box um, way more. Um, so if you guys got any recommendations for any jigs, let me know. Drop it down in the comments below and I'll uh, load her up. Alrighty guys, so this is that bait binder I was really, really excited about sharing with you guys. Um, and not because of the blue color or anything like that, just because of this brand. I absolutely love Z-Man. Z-Man, you guys have my heart. <laughs> um, without a further ado, I'm just going to go over every bait that I've got in this bait binder. It's pretty full now. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I found a bunch of online sites that carry all of their products so that's how I got them I didn't get these all through Bass Pro where I work um, otherwise if we did have them I definitely would but we just don't carry a lot of their stuff we carry most of their stuff like their popular baits um, including like the big TRDs finesse TRDs um, the craws some of the hogs um, but some of the stuff which I'll specify in particular what we do have and what we don't right here so first off we cannot go without this finesse TRD black and blue color. Absolutely love those. Um, and then these scented paddlers are awesome. Got them in a bad shad color. They're jointed. Um, they got a really nice paddle tail on it. I'll go more in depth with these in another video. Uh, but these are really, really nice. We don't have these at Cabela's, but I got them online. These we also don't have at Cabela's, but these are awesome. They're the palmetto bugs. Um, they're just like any kind of creature bait, beaver, beaver styled bait, something like that. Um, I got them in the California. All right, next, these are really, really awesome um, jig trailers. They're called the Batwing Z 2.75. Um, you just slide that on a jig, and you got a nice little crawdad look on the back. So those are going to be awesome. I have yet to use them, but I'm super excited about it. Um, and then next, these we actually did have at Cabela's. These we didn't. I don't know if I specified that. But these we do. These are the Finesse TRDs and Green Pumpkin Gobi. Absolutely love this color for the Chicago land area and just like for any Lake Michigan scenario. Um, so that's why I got those. And then these, the TRD Craws, Molten Craw color. These are great. Um, the Diesel Minnows. These are awesome. We do carry some of these at Cabela's, I believe, but I think I got this pack at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, but these are really nice. Um, I'd recommend maybe toss them on a trailer. I actually fished them, I believe, on like a buzz bait. Um, which I did a skirtless buzz bait and I just put this plastic on it caught tons of fish with it didn't even lose one single plastic so awesome 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 minnow Z 
um, trailers. And then these are another finesse TRD in the green pumpkin color. And it looks like I even got a jig in there. We're going all rigged up. But yeah, these green pumpkins you cannot beat with the finesse TRD. Without a doubt, that's a must. Um, then I got another cross, the deal color. These are super cool as well. Um, these are just called razor shads. Um, I got green pumpkin and also the pearl color. These are really, really nice for chatterbait trailers. Um, and I don't know, you can even rig it up on a Texas rig, I suppose, or some type of swim bait hook. These are the TRD bugs in hot craw color. These are awesome um, for finesse situations, clear water. Really like this. Um, and I got two more. The big TRD and the Drew's craw. We do carry these at Cabela's. We didn't carry these. I don't know if I specified that or the razor shads. Um, but these big TRD Drew's Craw, we got those. And then the TRD Ticklers. We still have yet to get these on the shelves, but I'm sure they'll probably come in soon. These are really nice as well, um, just to spice up the finesse TRD a little bit. But yeah, that is everything. We got some extra weedless jig heads in here, just in case if I need them in a situation. Um, but yeah, that's literally everything we've got in the Z-Man binder um i pretty much think that's everything that i need i know they're coming out with a new uh new line of a few plastics so i'm really excited about getting those so this is my bass pro shops um bait binder i've got a lot of stuff in here i'm not gonna lie um so i'm just gonna quickly go through it um starting with looks like we've got some paddle tails over here um just some basic swim bait tail uh paddle tails and then got a swimming elite chunk on this side. It looks like some more chunks. These are just like craw trailers. Um, got another pack of chompers in here. Can't go without those. Um, the four inch magnum flipping tubes. Got some of these bad boys in the crawdad color. Um, I've got some zoom lizards, I believe, and some creature baits. And yeah, mostly just creature baits and lizards in that one. These are the trick worms by zoom. Um, and just other kind of finesse style worms that I could either, oh, it looks like I got some ribbon tails in here as well. Um, so just a bunch of, a blend of different worms. These are some more um, swing impact, like drop shot um, styled swim baits. And then on this side, I've got some Zico um, Gary Yamamoto trailers. Actually, I don't know if they're Zico or not. I believe they are. I don't know. Comment below if they're, if I'm wrong. Um, these are some more drop shining baits. These are like my main drop shining baits. I've got a bunch of them, mostly the Robo worms, but I do have some Bass Pro open pour tricolor worms. These work just as well as those Robo worms in my opinion. But that is everything that's in this bait binder. Um, absolutely love this thing. It's really nice. It fits a lot of stuff in it and I've got more pockets if I need it, but I've got it pretty filled up. But if there's anything that I need to add, like I said, just let me know below. I was gonna even say too. It looks like you have some of uh, some of those in this pocket right yeah, here. Yeah, I got a duplicate of them. Um, I really have to find a way to better organize my stuff as far as plastics go. Um, I could definitely probably condense everything this winter and things like that, which I do. I feel like every week I feel like I condense all my stuff um, just because I go through a lot of a lot of fishing tackle. Um, but one of these days I'm gonna get a video for you guys, just kind of explaining how I set up my car kind of how I clean out my car after each week and just kind of how that process works for me. I'm um, just pretty much fishing all the time. So yeah, got the last bait binder. This guy right here is a little guy, um, but I really like this one. Um, I think it's because it reminds me of my dad actually. Um, my dad used to always have one of these little bait binders for like his spinner bait skirts, um, chatter bait skirts, and just like skirts and mostly spinner baits I think he used it for. And I just, I remember being a kid and just looking at it and just seeing them flip through it and I just thought it was like the coolest thing ever. Um, but yeah, so I couldn't go without adding this to my dream tackle box and I got one empty spot right there which, you know, every time I go through and grab a chatterbait out of here, like I know I got that one tied up and then I know I gave one to another buddy, so. But this is a really nice jackhammer chatterbait. I'm saving for some kind of special situation. Um, I pretty much buy these only when I truly can and I don't buy them to use them right away I just buy them to kind of just hold on to them and just if I get into a situation where like I know I need that extra extra confidence in it um, I'll toss that and I think that's huge to kind of have in my arsenal some cheaper ones and some nice nicer ones um, I think if you don't do that that's to like I, I totally understand what you're talking about um, I used to be cheap 
really really cheap when it came to my fishing tackle but lately I've been thinking of it thinking of it as like a uh, an investment um, because I do use them all so um, and then I've got another one of these jackhammers right here in this green pumpkin chartreuse color and I only buy one at a time so like I've got this color and then I've got this color and then I've got one white one that's I think a thunder cricket that's tied up in the car um, but yeah that one's pretty decent as well but yeah onto my spinner baits I've got this KVD um, white shad I think it's like a pearl or something color but yeah that's a nice spinner bait got these this is a Dobbins spinner bait I got this in the Mondo kit as well that I bought a while back um, this is a really nice half ounce spinner bait I love it for clear water with that chartreuse belly and that you know that white gray finish on top and then I've also got like this was a terminal tackle I was telling you a little bit about that I had in here and this is just my flashy swimmers so I got a lot of those in here oh my gosh these bugs are so bad holy crap um, we're troopers for being out here guys <laughs> you guys are enjoying yourselves I'm sure but whoo we're getting eaten up out here oh yeah um, but yeah, this is a skirt um, that I have just that is extra and then I've got some more um, Tokyo rigs in here um, These are really nice. I'll sh I'll make a video on these definitely sometime this fall I can't wait to show you guys how this Tokyo rig works um, Figured out how they worked a little bit more this spring. It was my first time using them So I really loaded up on them as you guys can see I got like three packs in here and Then I got this these Terminator spinner baits. I just started fishing this year as well freaking love these things like absolutely love these things really really nice great vibration wire holds up very very well got a nice spring on here prevents weeds getting on there just all around great spinner bait i got three colors of those highly recommend you add those to your arsenal if you haven't and these tokyo rigs man they're awesome so i got every size in those um and that's pretty much what i've got in this bait binder i honestly want to get another one of these and kind of organize a little bit more um, and probably next video that, that you guys see this tackle box, I'll probably have that um, just to kind of sp specifically organize my um, my plastics and stuff a little bit more and a little bit better than what you guys saw today. But that's it, folks. Um, that is the tackle box video. This is my dream tackle box in the process of being built, and I absolutely love this. I hope you guys loved it as well. Um, and like I said throughout this video, please let me know if there's anything that I missed and if there's anything you guys want to see. Alright, peace out. <laughs>